Hey everybody, this is Tyler here. Um, welcome to Garage Reviews. Um, I kind of wanted to just do a video, um, just kind of checking out different products on Amazon here and, and maybe getting some ideas of what I want to review. Um, so I just want to follow along. Um, we can do some searches, some cool garage stuff, maybe I'll buy them. Um, maybe I won't, but I just want to get some ideas and maybe read some of the reviews that are on there and then maybe we could even do some side reviews um, and, and just see how it goes so I don't know I'm just gonna kinda um, check out some of the different options here I'm not real familiar with Amazon believe it or not I, I do buy some stuff on my phone but never really on the desktop version so uh, let's see here I'm just gonna look at the menu here okay so they got different different things over there. There's Prime. All right. Why don't we just search? Maybe there's categories here. All right. Tools and home improvement. Let's just see if it pops up anything. All right. So it looks like we got some do-it-yourself. Um, different categories. We got power hand tools, emergency supply, smart home, hardware, woodworking, tools organizers, that's kind of interesting, ladders, fans, paints and supplies, kitchen and bath fixtures, light bulbs, measuring and layout tools, lighting, electrical, countertop alliances, and rough plumbing so one or two that do kind of stick out at me out of these um, the tool markers and ladders just because I'm kind of in the market not really but I just don't even know what the prices are of some of these I have this old extension ladder that I'm looking to kind of upgrade uh, I'm not sure if that's something I want to do depending on the pricing uh, but let's let's take a look. Let's see what they got here on the main page. All right, this looks like one of those little giant folding ones. Standard Warner, Louisville. All right. I do kind of like that one with the hooks. I'm not real sure. This one seems like it's got. Some type of a, a video to it, or you know, looks like it could be folded up and put away pretty nicely. Which is kind of neat for the garage. I do like Amazon because they have these cool videos. You can so I do kind of like that a little bit. Um, I just don't know how long does it get. It looks up to thirty-five. Astriocalate aluminum, so it's light, 330 pound load capacity, uh, so it's pretty heavy duty, I would say. It's kind of neat, unique product, I would say. I have not seen one like this at all. It's got a little lock, so you know the green light is locked in, so you're not sliding down when you're halfway up, which is positive. All right, I do, I do like this ladder. Um, so 15 feet looks like the, the highest you can go and anywhere from 155 to 119 for the 12 foot um let's look at some of the reviews here are the feet non-slip yes they are rubber and beveled with ribbing i have a 13 foot ceiling that has a smoke detector, what size ladder would be best? Well, that kind of makes sense. A 12 and a half foot ladder would be the best choice. Uh, can I, can this ladder be used different heights? 
That would be nice. That's what I was hoping for, but extends to one height and then locks there. Okay, so that answered that is a cool, good question. Um, plus, this is a relatively heavy little ladder. Okay, interesting. Is there a case or something I can carry this in somewhere? Uh, it doesn't come with a case, but it, it is easy to carry without one. There is a strap that can be used to secure the ladder. Okay. Well, there's some interesting feedback that I wouldn't have known to ask. Um, one of the bottom releasing buttons is lost. Are there replacements for these? Feel free to contact us for replacement parts and we'll arrange to send you them. Okay. Does it come with an 18 to 19 feet leak? Nope. Uh, 15 foot is a maximum, but you can reach that height, you know, if you're on top, I guess. Uh, where is the ladder manufactured? Well, it looks like it's made in China. Okay. Uh, do sell feet for these? Oh, do they have feet? No feet. It doesn't look like at the moment. Is the 8 foot ladder tall enough to climb on the top of the camper? That is about 8.8 tall, or do I need a 10.5? Well, 10.5 looks like that'd be the one to get. Uh, are there covers available? Step covers available? Yes. Well, here's some pictures of it as well, if you want to see that with some reviews. So, it looks like that one. So that looks like the extension. Well, that's an interesting uh, concept for a ladder. It looks like we've got about five and four stars uh, overall for the reviews. So, so this one I would, you know, possibly think about the only thing downfall I could see at this time is that it might not be the height that I need, um, you know, because I do get up to some pretty high extensions on the peak of my house and I like to put up Christmas lights and, and different things like that but I do like the fact that it does compact down pretty small um, that that is a big selling feature for me so we'll keep this one on the list I guess I'm not even gonna try to pronounce by I don't know <laughs> Definitely must be a Chinese, Chinese uh, name. Maybe not. I'm not. I'm not sure. But so let's go back to ladders here. So that's Amazon's choice. It looks like um, this one is similar to that one, I guess. This one goes up to 20 feet. Let's see if there's other options. I've never even seen these concepts until looking at them right now. So this is kind of a fun little adventure. Um, yeah, that's neat. And this one goes up to 20 feet. And so it's kind of the same same type of thing. This is Amazon's choice. So there must be something a little bit better about it. 330 pounds, non-slip. Uh, comes in premium aluminum or cheap aluminum. Also, it's a higher quality aluminum. So it locks in with your thumbs, you press your two thumbs right here, I'm looking, and it locks in from there. Okay. Carrying it around. Some of the different types of ladders. Oh, it's showing like the, the telescoping height. Um, okay. About 25 pounds. Let's see here, there's a little, how does it, how to fold? Let's see, a little strap on it. That's interesting. So 20 feet, it's getting to where my height is, but I, I still, not sure on it if I if I like that or not, but I do think it's a neat concept. Um, it might suit your needs. I'm, I'm not sure. 
I'm just thinking, what are those extension ladder sizes? Like this one here, 16, okay. Let's go back here. Let's see, maybe there's a, a height one here. Looking on the side here. Well, Louisville and Warner are the two that I I know are, are big in the ladder business. And here's an extension one. Uh, those are the covers, okay. So you don't bang up your, your gutters or anything like that. Wow, these fiberglass ones are very cool but very pricey. <laughs> I did not realize that's what they go for, but that is interesting. Um, uh, why is that one so much more? I realize. Mm -hmm. No reviews on this one. It's kind of just doing research for ladders. I like these because you got the feet that, you know, either you can stick them in the ground or you, when you're on the concrete, you lay them flat like that. Um, you know, it's kind of the, the rule of thumb off those feet. It's got the rope, 24 feet up to 28 feet. So that 20 foot one that we were looking at before might, might do what I need. Um, but this one does go up to 24 feet, which uh, that would probably be the optimal optimal height for me. And then the 28, no, oh, that's that's getting up there. So, all right. Well, let's go back a little bit. It's just me doing some ladder research. Some Louisville. Let's see if we can go right to their ladder page. Let's see what they promote here. Extension planks and stages. Okay. This is kind of just there. Really ain't got nothing there. Um. Well, let me type in extension ladder. So Amazon's choice. Oh, I just saw one that I it looks like your classic over here. Your Louisville ladder. And this one looks like the the 16 footer. The slider is 266. You know this one's about 260. So we're pretty close from your traditional extension to to this guy here. Storage would probably be the benefit of about purchasing this telescoping style. Um, but the convenience, I think. And just being, if you have the storage, I think these Louisville ones are still probably a little quicker to use when you need to use them. This one, it looked like that guy had to lock all of those little hooks into place. Um, so, I'm, you know, maybe if you're an apartment or somewhere where you don't got storage, this is your, your go-to. If you've got a garage, um, some wall space, or, you know, something where you can put this guy in I would probably look at this one just top of my head that'd be my my theory um, like it or not I guess da, da, da. looks like you can get replacement ropes on Amazon um, what are these adjustable ladder levelers so if you're you need know, to stabilize a little bit these are those extension guards um, those are available. Well, this is neat. But I want to click on Amazon's Choice because they seem to be where I like to go. So you can go 16 feet, the 20 footer. What does that bump up on price? Well, it's not going to tell me. Is that what? All right. So 454 for a 28 footer. So 250 or 260, let's go back. 266, you add another uh, eight feet on, you go up a couple hundred bucks. 32 footer, 
500 bucks. It's got some discounts. You know, these are current prices. Who knows if these are going to be sticking around forever, but that's kind of where we're at. 40 footer. They're about 700 bucks for one of those guys. Um, let's look at some of the features. Wow. Yeah, this would probably be where I'd be looking. I would, I'd probably go this 24 footer, um, but it's not giving me a price. I don't know. It must be out of stock. I'm not, you guys, I am not an Amazon guru. I'm just doing research. So it looks like you can get the covers for it as well. Um, yeah, I think this would probably be my go-to um, if I had to do it, just because I got the garage space to hang it. Um, you know, and that, and that kind of thing. Um, not sure if I'm going to go this route yet. I, you know, I, I'm, I'm in a needle ladder. I do have an extension one that's getting pretty old. My neighbor gave it to me. Uh, it's all aluminum lube and I'm one. And it only goes at about three notches and that's where it gets stuck. But it, I can just reach where I need to reach. Um, but I possibly will buy this and and give you a full review once I get it. Um, but, you know, you have a chance here if you want to grab it. Um, this is where I found it. We could maybe do another, uh, let's see here. Let's do some research. There's the model number. And do some Google search on that, on that model. Go to Google Shopping. So what were we over here? 266 on Amazon. Looks like Ace. You can get her for 250. Um, Zoro. You know, I don't know. Any of these might not be the exact way to go, but you know, you can do your your research that way as well. You know, I've done this before, and sometimes there is a big difference on it. Um, look here, it's, you know, same 182. But you got to also know, I mean, here's Home Depot, which is a, pretty much a direct competitor, 331. So you got to know who you're getting it from. You know, the Amazon does a very good job of vetting the sources, and this is probably coming right from, you know, Louisville. Um, you know, then you, you also know what the returns are. Are a little bit easier of a process as well um, I'm, <laughs> that's a really good question is how they would deliver this this guy to you um, you know if you add it to cart let's see what it says for oh, it wants me to log in I'm not gonna log in um, but if it's in stock so the free delivery it's telling me um, so let's they get it to you somehow that's interesting if anybody wants to write in the comments of how they deliver this, that they got to go common carrier or if um, <laughs> they do an Uber deliver or however they're doing things now, that'd be kind of an interesting uh, factoid to, to check out. So, um, all right. So, I'm a traditionalist, so I'm, I'm a fan of the Louisville ladder more than the, the China one, but it doesn't mean that this one doesn't serve the purpose of your needs so that's kind of it this is garage reviews you know i got a garage so i'm going to be hanging this in my garage if you have an apartment um you need, or if you want to transport this in a, in a car or a smaller vehicle this would be a go-to i mean i honestly might even have a need for that as well just because i don't have a huge vehicle to transport it so if i need to take it somewhere i'd have to hook up a trailer where this guy I could probably get to almost to the same height and and go from there you know what I mean so you got to weigh that weigh that out a little bit um, but the reviews on both seem pretty good it's just a matter of well I guess I really didn't read the reviews here so let's go back I know my review because I've had these before I've used them giving you my review <laughs> so 
this is the mostly just asking how small um, looks like these are actually manufactured in Mexico um, that was in 2014 that question was asked well wow. he's been on here for a while he's got some feedback 32 feet is the highest so you know it's I found these to be very awesome because the sliding capability is really easy to get the rope you can pull it up higher this little locking ledge you feel very secure on them and very sturdy compared to some of the, the, the lower end manufacturers um, when it comes to ladders in your life I mean it's a it's a big deal do you want to be able to to feel secure safe and all that I mean that's these feet you know down here safety swivel you know different surfaces you can lock it in as well um, so it's the smooth operation yeah I mean I think the one I got now man it is it is done it's tired I can't even I can't even slide it up and down more than like I said three three different spots it's 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 a mess so well I mean that's we can do more reviews on, on ladders if you like um, I'm just gonna start with these these two so I'll leave the links to these telescoping the two best sellers on here um, that's way easy I like to go with these and then also leave the link for the Louisville one and if you do get it uh, let me know in the comments how you how it shipped to you and it's kind of kind of interesting to see how that goes and then um, I possibly will do another video down the road um, once I get this channel up and rolling where I I purchase that letter and and do a full in-person review but right now I'm just gonna do do this and get some ideas I might do a couple more videos like this uh, mixed in with you know um, reviews in my garage and we're gonna just kind of keep rolling um, um, that way so for now um, I'm gonna let you guys go I gotta come up with a slogan for my Peace be with you.